let's take a look at the handout that I have prepared for you. In your Procreate file, you're going to see all the different layers for all the different projects, and the handout is going to be the very first one. You'll see that I've added the blank boxes extra, so you can add your own. But let's quickly go through the ones that I have prepared for you. The Zen Doodles that I've been practicing with basically have been a combination of lines, circles, and squares. The lines can be straight, horizontal, or vertical. The lines can be wavy, they can meet, or they can be open. And they can form fans or other shapes in and of themselves. The circles can be freestanding, they can be half circles if they go to the edge of the square, they can be different sizes, and they can serve as connecting elements for wavy lines. Then the squares, you can fill the whole square, you can add various squares inside a square, and you can add shapes and forms into the little squares that you have added inside the bigger square. So composition is the next piece basically that you want to look at. If you are working off of a blank box like that, what do you want it to look like? Do you want it to be a pattern? Do you want it to be a single image? Really your imagination is the only limit here. Texture is something that you can add to give the piece a little more interest and the texture also, if we zoom in here, can be smaller lines and dots little dots here to indicate a shadow, or longer lines also to give the piece a little bit more visual interest as if there was a light and shadow playing off of each other. Weight is what in calligraphy we refer to as the amount of ink that is on the page, or in this case the amount of non-white space, and you can see this can be filled in circles, it can be lines coming out of the same little spot that is adding a little weight in there, and it can also be things like completely blocking out pieces of your composition. To warm up, I'm going to encourage you to untoggle the handout here or take uh, the printed page of the blank boxes, add a layer on top, and then with the pen of your choosing or the brush of your choosing and also the color of your choosing, try and make your own and have a little fun with it. You can fill all the nine boxes. You don't have to be super precise. Again, this is very much to let loose and to get your creative juices flowing. Nothing to censor yourself here. Just do what comes naturally and don't censor yourself. This doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody has to see this but you. You don't even have to make any sense of it. They can be squiggly lines. Wherever your imagination takes you.